Somalia says Egypt has offered to deploy peacekeeping troops to the Horn of Africa nation in a security partnership that is emerging as the mandate of a long-time group of African Union peacekeepers winds down. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi on Thursday attended a summit in the Eritrean capital, Asmara, where he and the leaders of Somalia and Eritrea pledged strong cooperation in regional security. Somali authorities said in a statement at the end of the summit that they welcomed Egypt's offer to deploy troops in Somalia as part of a stabilization force when the present African Union force disbands in December. The statement said the leaders welcomed the African Union Peace and Security Council's decision to launch the African Union mission to support stabilization in Somalia, or AWESOME, under whose mandate the Egyptians or others would be deployed. A separate statement following the summit signed by representatives of Somalia, Egypt and Eritrea asserted Somalia's sovereign right to determine the composition, tasks, and deployment timeline for the awesome troops. Somalia's federal government has been supported by an African Union peacekeeping mission since 2007 in fighting the Islamic extremist group Al-Shabaab, which has ties with Al-Qaeda and is responsible for deadly attacks in the country. The summit in Asmara followed a period of tensions in the region stemming from disputes pitting Ethiopia against others. The first dispute, between Ethiopia and Egypt is over Ethiopia's construction of a $4 billion dam on the Blue Nile, a key tributary of the Nile River. Egypt fears it will have a devastating effect on water and irrigation supplies downstream in Egypt unless Ethiopia takes its needs into account. Ethiopia plans to use the dam to generate badly needed electricity. The second dispute between Ethiopia and Somalia is over Somalia's breakaway region of Somaliland. Somalia has sought to block landlocked Ethiopia's ongoing efforts to gain access to the Red Sea via a contentious agreement with Somaliland to lease a stretch of land along its coastline, where Ethiopia would establish a marine force base. In return, Ethiopia would recognize Somaliland as an independent country, according to Somaliland authorities. Somaliland seceded from Somalia more than 30 years ago but is not recognized by the African Union or the United Nations as an independent state. Somalia still considers Somaliland part of its territory.